<laughs> so Tiny Car Month continues, it seems, with another drift car. My last video featured this little beauty, but a lot of you would say that four-wheel drive is not a drift car. But I can say that you could probably call this a caca poo poo drifty machiney, and I'd still be wrong. But it's fun, and RCs are fun, and if you're not having fun, don't do it! Tip of the day, fun is fun. They have made some sweet initial D type RC drift cars! I didn't know it had a metal body. It comes with a die cast body, so let's just take a look. Just so everybody knows, I do know what a drift car is. This is my Sakura D5. Love, love, love it. It doesn't get out enough. Used to go underground to drift, but now there's actually a space and we're gonna go check it out soon. Really nice packaging and a nice soft shell case. Oh, I don't need to cut it, it unfolds. Yeah, I do, yeah! A nice case. Ooh, ooh, heavy. That's really cool. Look at the paint job. Wow, we sweet. Bunch of indicators, charging cable, tools, side view mirrors, lower swing arm lockers. Oh, okay. Very thin instruction manual. And then the transmitter. This is, feels a little bit cheap, but dude, this is like 60 bucks. It's got a little thumbstick that's actually reachable. Like it was almost designed for one hand driving. Hey, wait a sec. No way, you can take this and put it on that side. That's a great feature, especially for a cheap transmitter. A couple quick functions on it. Change your throttle from high to low. It looks like a dual steering right here. And this is probably for your lights. Yeah, lights, flip lights, got it. And then you've got your trim here. And I'm gonna say that this is the gyro trim, but we'll find out in a sec. This is definitely an upgrade from the other models. Like these ones came with something pretty basic, but we'll pop this open in a sec to check. So I'm gonna start with the one that's completely crushed first. I, it's been sitting for so long, I don't even know. Oh gosh. Which one is this one? Oh my God. Please don't be completely smashed. Oh, nice. So this is the RX-7. Like, look at this transmitter. Oh, it's terrible in comparison. Like, absolutely terrible. This is like straight up toy. This feels like you're getting into the hobby grade. <laughs> yeah, I'm right, sons. <laughs> My initial D, I'm, a, I'm, I'm D'ing it up. Oh man, it's really nice. And oh man, it's really kind of broken. But it looks like it just popped out. Dude, oh no, this is popped off too. Oh no, that's broken too. Yeah, they're the identical chassis and identical motor. My concern with that is that this is way lighter than this and this motor might be underpowered, but we're gonna find out. Now this one I've had for nearly a year. Please be the panda. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh this one's broken too! What's happening? Doesn't look broken though, they just seem to have popped off and freight. Oh my initial D video one day will come to fruition! Not today though, let's focus on that GTR. It does come with a 7.4 500mAh battery. As I'm putting all the bits on here, I opened it up, like there's a lot under the hood. And I don't wanna mess around, pull out the wire, but it does come with the three wire servo, dog bones and lock differential in the back. All of the connecting rods in the front and rear are threaded. They can all be fine tuned adjusted. That's really nice. And it comes on a sweet little hinge. This thing looks so good. Can't even <laughs> This body is incredible looking and die cast for under 60 bucks. <laughs> I don't even want to play with it, it looks too good. But I must for science. So the gyro is at 50%, I think, right now, and look at this. Oh <laughs> probably should put the screw back in. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on max. Check out the throw and the speed of the servo. Like Holy smokes. And I cranked up the gyro to full. Check it out. Like so responsive. Amazing. Yeah, I get it. R34s aren't real, real drive only, but here's slow speed. And then here's high speed. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so stoked. I don't want to break this. Whoa. 
Oh, I don't want to drive it off the table. Oh my god, I just put a heart attack. Oh, I don't want to drive it off the table. <laughs> yeah! Whoa. Oh, this is phenomenal. Let's go rip it on concrete. I found a nice concrete slab. Hopefully this works out and I don't draw too big a crowd. Being triple Z-list slab and all. Yeah, nice and smooth. So I got the gyro at 50% and everything turned on full blast. I don't know if there's any settings for that gyro, but it overcorrects a little too quickly. That gyro is twitchy. I'm gonna try to put in a better gyro for another video because I think that's the only thing holding this thing back. Guys, I cut it short because the storm was coming. It's pouring rain right now. Where did this even come from? I think truly that it needs a better gyro. The gain and the return is just too fast. You need it to have just a slow, elongated release of that gyro and you'll get better control. But like any RC, it does take a lot of practice to get it right. I think the surface plays a really big role in this. Smooth, smooth concrete is probably better than that really rough concrete I was driving on. Or even a carpet tile surface, you probably get better performance. A lot of fun, great lookers, these are definitely worth your time.